Well, U.S. Senators are set for a showdown over election reform. Senate Republicans vowing to shoot down a new voting reform measure set to hit the Senate floor for a vote next week. Let's get reaction from former Ohio Secretary of State Ken Blackwell. Ken, great to see you. Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, Georgia activist Stacey Abrams uh, says she is on board with this compromise that Joe Manchin has come up with. But the irony is this compromise doesn't seem much different from that Georgia law. <laughs> Law that these woke activists were so much against and ended up boycotting Georgia for, right? <laughs> right, David. It's good to be with you. Look, uh, all Americans should be engaged in making sure that our election systems are where that it is easy to vote uh, but hard to hard to cheat. You know, we don't want any legal ballot that's cast, negated by an illegally cast ballot. And I think that's what state legislatures are trying to go after all across this country. That is the case uh, in, in, in Georgia. Uh, if you look at the common sense reforms that have been put into place, from making sure that there is not private money that is uh, unevenly applied. Uh, in, in our election systems to something as simple as voter ID, which has popular support across ethnicities and races and income groups, uh, you have to say that this effort to federalize uh, the system, which this compromise would do, uh, is, is just wrong. It's just foolhardy. But, Ken, what really gets under my scale, you think of all the small businesses and, and a lot of the minority-owned businesses that were hurt by this boycott of Georgia because of a law that Stacey Abrams now says is, is, is pretty much uh, the same as the law that Senator Manchin came out with. So they're, they're ending up agreeing with a law that they boycotted Georgia for and, and injured God knows how many small businesses as a result. You, 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 you're absolutely right, David. You know, if you take a look at the Georgia reforms and you compare it with the established law in Denver, where the all-star game of Major League Baseball was moved to, uh, the, the, the laws and practices in, Georgia, uh, in Denver are actually more restrictive. And so, one, it was reflective of folks not doing their homework, and it is the height of hypocrisy, uh, and, and Stacy knows that. Yeah. Uh, and and I, I just don't think that folks are going to be gaslighted into believing that if they embrace, you know, common sense reforms that make it uh, easy to vote but hard to cheat, that they're racist. Right. That, that, that they're not, they're not going to embrace that. Uh, today they're not going to be gaslighted and believe in that. Today, the president signed the Juneteenth uh, law that essentially makes it a, a national holiday, something that's been celebrated for, for decades already, primarily, <laughs> primarily in the minority communities. But I do want to ask, there, there's a new book out uh, claiming things about President Trump that, that he said things that were racist in orientation, everything. even though he increased his, the number of blacks voting for him during 2020 from what he got in 2016. Do you think, you know the guy, uh, do you think there's, there's anything behind charges that he has a, a racist attitude towards black Americans? Look at what he accomplished. Criminal justice reform, an expanding economy that created more work opportunities, uh, lifting family incomes. The answer to your question is, 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 is no. Uh, we can't get into this, uh, this politics of, of, of division. And I think it is interesting that we celebrate Juneteenth as a national holiday, along with not only recognizing the, the, the brilliance of the Emancipation Proclamation, but we are getting ready to celebrate the 40, 245th year of this nation as a unique nation, as a bellwether nation in terms of, of, of freedom. I think it's very, very important that we all take a page out of Satchel Paige's uh, book. Satchel Paige says, stop looking backwards. You're not running in that direction. And I Ooh, think I like it, is, it, it, it is very important that we understand that, as Lincoln said, this nation is not perfect, but it is perfectible, and that it is a great nation, not because of a great government. It is a great nation because of good people doing great things together, and we must realize the end of slavery came about because there were people of different races, different religions, different ethnicities that actually 
came together and affected change for the best. Yeah, same thing happened in 64 with the Civil Rights Act as well. So we can com continue to improve on, on what we, on the beauty that we already had. Ken, great to see you. Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate it. Ken Blackwell, very wise words.